In this video I'm going to show you how to design and simulate a basic circuit using independent sources, independent DC sources, and resistors. Just the basics of P-SPICE. So I'm using ORCAD uh, Capture CIS Lite and uh, once you open it up this is the screen that you're going to have here. So we're going to click on New Project, type in any name you want, Project 1, sure. Uh, you're going to want to click on P-SPICE Analog or Mix if it's not already clicked on that first, or if the uh, first selection is not already chosen, click OK. Here we're going to create a blank project and click OK. We can zoom in a little bit here using the magnifying glass. Um, and I'm assuming that you've already loaded the parts library. If you haven't already, there is a video on how to do this uh, located on my channel. And it is straightforward and very easy. Okay, so we're going to click on Place Part. And a little menu over here will appear. First thing we'll, we want to place would be a source. So a DC voltage source. VDC. Double click on that. And click again to place. And you'll notice that it's still dragging around with the. And if you keep clicking, it'll make more. So to get rid of that, press escape. And to delete a component, click on it and press delete. So here we have our source, and we want to change it. We don't want it to be zero volts. Let's change it to say 5. So you just double click, type in 5, and click OK. We're also going to want to place a current source. You can either look for it in the parts menu over here, or you can come up to place, P-SPICE component, and there's some of the most common things that you place here. Um, source, current sources, DC source. To rotate, just press R. And let's change this by double clicking on here to 2 amps DC. Just making this up as I go along here. We're also going to want to place some resistors. So you can type R and you've got all sorts of different kinds of resistors here or you can go up to place, piece by component, resistor, click, click, and then rotate again here. I don't know where else to put one. How about there? Now you want to come up to place wire, and we're going to connect all these components together just by clicking and then dragging the wire to the next uh, component. Pretty simple. So we have our basic circuit. And one thing with P-SPICE is that this will not simulate unless you have a ground. So you come up to place ground. Click OK. And same thing, you need to connect that with a wire. and we are ready to simulate our circuit. Um, there's a lot of stuff up here that's grayed out right now but that will uh, become available once we create our simulation file. So come up to PSPICE, New Simulation File. Uh, for this just type, I don't know, Test Simulation. Create for now, on this menu, just click OK. You'll notice that we have a couple more options up here. So the next step would be to click this little play button, just running the simulation so you're running the circuit, just like you'd be running a program. This window will pop up, likely. Uh, you don't need it at this moment, not for the sake of this video. So just minimize that and to find like the voltage 
or the current across components, you can come up here, click on the V for voltage, or you can click on I for the current across uh, certain components. If you want to find the power, just click on the W. Okay, so I impulsively decided that I am going to use this window for this video. You can see here that the graph is showing us voltage over time. So you have, this is in millionths of a second, and we're at 5 volts. So I'll minimize this window and show you where the probe is located. You can delete that probe just like a component. So I took the voltage probe, put it right here at the top of the 5. With the reference being 0, you know that this is going to be 5 volts. So it's 5. Now you can take an additional voltage probe and put it pretty much anywhere, say over here. And then you can come back to this window and you see that at that particular point it's 500 volts. Let's delete that and try somewhere else. And at that point it's what is that? 1.34, 1.5 kilovolts. So 1500 volts over there. It's pretty incredible. Let's see what happens when we change this to something a lot smaller like 2 millis. I'll have to run it again. So just click run again and then you can see that the voltage dramatically drops. If you wanted to simulate the current on that graph just come up here to the current marker click on that and you have to place it at the end of the component like right here. If you try to place it at the center of a wire or the center of a component it doesn't work. It has to be right at the end of one of the components. So we'll go back to our graph, we'll run, and you can see that we've got our current. It's somewhere close to negative 1.8 uh, millis. If you want to find out exactly what it is, there are some tools here to find out exactly what it is. Just go to peak because I know it's going to be the same because it's direct and mark the label and it comes up with a value so we've got it looks like negative 1.75 milliamps at that at that point and there's a couple other things you can do with that graph you can find out power dissipated so for that particular component we're looking at and it's a really small amount. 62.5 millionths of a watt, microwatts. And you can also find voltage, like if you're doing like a Thevenin problem, across two points. So there we've got 5.25 volts. So that pretty much sums up the basics of uh, piece by simulations um, and that should get you started at the beginning of a circuit analysis class. So if you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comment section.